All right. I have avoided making this video long enough, but here we are. We're doing this. I've been sitting in front of this camera for a while thinking about how to make this video the right way, the correct way, and I just honestly came to terms that there is no right way to make this video. It's just gonna happen. This video isn't going to be too long. I just wanted to make a video addressing the one thing that I'm getting asked all over social media quite often, every single day. Um, Michael and I are no longer together. I know breakup videos usually happen within like a month of the breakup, but I think the reason why it's taking me so long and you know, it, it takes other people long too, it's not just me, but of course I run out of memory. Um, he was my first boyfriend, my first everything. We've known each other for eight years. So, you know, I feel like Admitting that kind of feels like, you know, you failed, you know, kind of admitting that you failed and Even though that's not really what you should be feeling. It's just, you know, a feeling that I have and I'm sure Someone out there probably has too and not only that but also taking it to YouTube um, to a pretty decent amount of people and you know discussing it also makes it feel like you're closing that chapter of your life and even though it has to be done and it's understandable and I've come to terms with it it's still hard you know to actually make that move because you know once you kind of let it all out it's you can't really take it back so and it was such a big chapter of my life so it's just it's very intimidating <laughs> pretty scary to you know move on to the next chapter it's just a kind of, okay well then there's no turning back you know like once once that chapter is closed, you have to move on, and it's just very scary, and understandably so, and I hope no one thinks that I was purposely ignoring this question, you know, just out of arrogance or something. I was just not ready to talk about it, and it's understandable. Breakups are hard. Um, you know, people who aren't all over social media, um, breakups are hard for them too, and I doubt they'd be comfortable with speaking about it to you know a bunch of people that they don't know how they're going to take it they don't know how they're going to react if they're going to judge or anything like that so i hope you guys understand that i won't be going into detail or anything about what happened between us um he didn't cheat i didn't cheat we don't hate each other we're you know on good terms um obviously you know in the beginning of breakups there's always negative feelings you know we're human we can't escape that but right now we're perfectly fine um we don't talk on a daily basis but you know we don't hate each other. We've known each other and been together for eight years. So making this video isn't the easiest, um, even though, you know, I'm better now and, you know, time heals. It's just still making this video is bringing up a lot of just like negative emotions. So it's just, it's not the easiest. We live together and all that stuff. So it's just a little bit difficult. I have been living here by myself with Luna. And even though Luna's great company and she's the love of my life, um, it has been super lonely, like extremely, like just you feel alone. Like there's actual silence in your apartment and that has probably been one of the hardest things to deal with. Oh Jesus, I'm not crying because of that. It's just, you know, being alone like sucks. Like getting used to the feeling of like being by yourself when you're like used to like being surrounded by like at least someone, you know, like I don't even live at home anymore. So it's like, I'm stuck in this lease. Like, I mean, I love this place and you know, now I love it again, but for the first couple months, it was the worst thing ever. Um, I, I probably didn't even live here that often. I just kept on going home because it was just like coming here and like all the memories and everything and just the silence. Like even the, having the TV on in the background, it's just like artificial and it was just like, just a very lonely, like weird lonely feeling. All right, the moment's over with, we're fine, we're fine. Um, but yeah, I won't make this video much longer. Um, I just kind of wanted to let you guys know what's been going on. A lot of you have already guessed, but just to throw it out there, rip the bandaid off. This video was initially supposed to be like a girly Q&A type, you know, personal Q&A thing. Um, but like a lot of the questions were about, you know, the breakup. So I thought I'd make this into a separate video, just kind of filling you guys in. Um, breakups are tough. Breakups are like a roller coaster of emotions. One day you feel great, the other you feel like the worst ever. Um, you like being single, you know, you don't know how to act, you know, you don't, it's just a really weird feeling. I wish no one was going through the same feeling, but I know that someone must be going through the same feeling that watches my videos. So if that's you, if you're out there, I'm definitely not against sharing what I've been going through or my experiences or any advice I may have. So if you have anything to ask, um, 
just write it down in the comments below and I'll even include it in the next Q&A just to, you know, kind of help out other people in the same boat. Thank you guys for being so supportive and understanding. Um, I love you guys so much. I love my YouTube family so much. Like, so, so much. Um, all right, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one.